Welcome back to the channel. Today on Cooking with E, we're going to make some pulled beef. That's right, not pork, beef. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Cooking with E. Just gonna go over what we're using today to season this thing up. A little Worcestershire, a little Stagner steak seasoning, white lightning, double garlic. And this is just a chuck roast that I picked up at the local grocery store here. It's uh, 3.12 pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing seasoned up and we'll be on our way to making some pulled beef. There we go. Uh, you notice there's a real nice marbling and, and big rib of fat in there. That's going to be really, really good as we slow cook this thing and it renders down. It's going to make a lot of juice and that's going to be kind of our au jus at the end of this. If there's any left over, I'll just pull it out once we get it pulled. Alright, I'm going to start out with this. And season the heck out of this. You can see how thick this one is. So I'm gonna season this thing real, real good. Kind of push it in there. So when you flip it, all of it doesn't end up on your board. Get in there like that. Kind of push in our Worcestershire. Winston shooter, something like that. All right. And I'm just gonna do all the way around. Do more of this on the side if I can get it stick in there. Make sure you get every edge of this thing, as much as you can get on there without it all coming off. Because as we know, flavor wins. Don't be afraid to grab your meat and get rough with it. Get this thing all happy. Smack them around a little. Get in there. Oh. All right. Okay, last side here. Top it off with a little bit more Wishing Schneider Shitter, whatever it is here. Wishing Schneider. Winston's Shire. War, War Chester's, War Sh yeah, you know what I mean. Let's take a little bit off the board here. Back on up. All right, this thing is ready to go on to the smoker. Okay, so the plan of attack here for this guy, uh, we're gonna come over to my newly rebuilt smoker that I just got done doing. If you haven't seen those videos, please check them out. And if you could hit that subscribe for me, it really helps me out uh, during this time. I'm unemployed and uh, just trying to make this uh, give me a little bit of gas money. So I appreciate all your help. I got this thing just on warming up right now on smoke. I'm going to go ahead and crank this up to 250. We're going to let that thing get up to temp. Once that's up to 250, then we're going to go ahead and put this on there. I'm going to smoke this thing for six hours trying to reach an internal temperature of 195 to 200 degrees. And we'll see if we can get that done. Uh, one other thing I want to point out, since I'm using the new version of this smoker, is I added a, it's a, uh, a little gasket basically. It's a tape that you can get right here. And if you notice, there is no smoke coming out from that lid. We got smoke here. Got smoke coming out of there. We have nothing coming out of the lid. 
it has helped increase the speed of heat up and it holds the temperature much better now the other thing you have to do if you're going to add a gasket is replace the screws up here on this model at least and i added some washers i don't know if i can get a shot of it but i added some washers underneath to lift it lift it up just a little bit because if you don't lift up the back end here you're going to have a gap on that end there so just a little tip if you want to add a gasket to it to keep the smoke in and to also get that temperature to rise a heck of a lot quicker and have a more consistent temperature during your smoke okay we are up to temp and it actually jumped past temp but we're up to temp very very quickly here so i'm going to go ahead and pop this baby on there we are going to get to smoking let's see if i can do this three pounder with just one hand in the tongs there we go oh yeah that is going to be so good i'm telling you pulled beef it's real close to pulled pork. You get it right, you do it right. Now, I'm going to smoke this for two hours, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it in a pan, and I'm going to put beef broth in the bottom of the pan, and then we're going to go ahead and cover that up, and we're going to let it continue smoking the rest of the, or cooking the rest of the time in that juice, because otherwise this will dry out. So, just to let you know, I'll be back in a minute. It's been about an hour and a half. Let's uh, take a peek here and see how we're doing. Oh, that is starting to look so good. Check it out. Nice little crust on there. Looking yummy. Let's check where we at. Oh, holding steady. 251. So it's right at 250. That's perfect. Check our hopper. We are good to go. By the way, I'm using a combination of oak and apple for this smoke. I'm going to go ahead and let that keep rolling. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip it, I think, just to make sure we get that good, even cook. And uh, we'll go from there. Back in a minute. We are three hours in. I'm going to go ahead and check the temperature on this. Oh, that's looking. Looking amazing. Okay, I got my little thermometer here. See where we're at. I'm just gonna go ahead and try and stay away from the fat here. I want to get it into the meat. Pretty good. Alright, let's see what we got. I would like it to be around 150, but it may be a little higher. I've had it in here three hours, so we'll see. So we're, we're pretty close. 156 is fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull it off, plop it in here, and then we will get our beef broth over the top and cover it with the foil. There we go. Can't do this without dropping it. Traeger for now. Sorry if it's a little windy. We got a looks like a bit of a storm maybe coming in or something. Got some cloud cover, which is kind of nice. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this. This is a 32 ounce box of beef broth. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover this in foil, and I'll go ahead and get it back in there. So as you can see, I got it wrapped real tight. I got it in the pan, and you want to make sure you tuck it up under there real tight all the way around. You don't want any of that steam or love coming out of the top there. We're going to leave this on for another two hours, and then we're going to let this rest an hour, and it'll be time to do some pulled beef. Stay tuned. Here we are at hour five. I'm going to go ahead and check the temperature, make sure we don't blast this thing too much over 195 or 200 let me go ahead and put my one hander on here super glove let's go ahead and look in here make sure we don't overcook this deal ain't nothing worse than spending all day on something than overcooking the darn thing 
Oh, come on. Well, I did get that tight on there. Of course, with my gloves a little thick, I can't really feel much. There we go. There we go. Oh, looky there. Here, buddy. Let's go ahead and give this a jam in the middle there. Stay off the bottom. Where are we at? We're good. That's right where I want to be. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing at five hours, not six like I thought it would be. And uh, we're let this thing sit for another hour. The time has come. Let's go ahead and open this up. It's been sitting an hour. Let's see what we've created. <laughs> oh, man. That little au jus looks so yummy. Let's see how it's looking. Oh, I think we got that fat rendered. Either you do the jiggle test if that fat's rendered or not. All right, let me give it a poke here. See if it's tender. Whoop. Oh, whoop. Arr. Yeah, go bears. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to pull so easy. Look at that. Just barely touch it. Bing. Okay, I'm going to get this pulled out, and let's go ahead and shred it up. All right, here we go. Let's get this shredded up. Now, as you're pulling it apart, if you notice any big chunks of fat, just pull them and set them aside. I did keep my uh, au jus bath over here, so when I get this done, I can just chuck it back in and get the juices back in the meat. Go ahead and get this pulled apart. Oh, man. Hold on. Look at that. Oh, yeah. See that? A little bit of smoke on the outside. Surprised that it, well, there's some good smoke ring there. I didn't get as deep a smoke ring. I probably would smoke it a little longer next time. But uh, for three pounds, I've done bigger ones. I haven't done one three pounds. So I was kind of working on, oh, look at that. Come on, if you're not hungry right now, I don't know what's going on with you. Hold on. Oh man, it just fell apart. Wow. All right, I'm gonna shred this up. Okay, so I got a little pile here. Just throwing it on a bun, raw dogging it. Don't need all the extra stuff on there. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. You can see that smoke in there. Mm. Juicy, very juicy, very, very tender. You have to try it. If you like these videos, please help me out. Hit that subscribe button, sidekick the like button. I will see you on the next one. I appreciate all of you. See ya.